this is just a quick video on removing the disgusting sticky rubberized finish that you get on many European cars from the uh, late 90s to mid 2000s. This one is a Porsche Boxster S, but you'll get this on Volkswagens and Audis and all sorts of stuff and American, some American cars as well. So tools we're using, we're using a bag of old microfiber towels, trying to get ones a little bit big, uh, bigger like pile to them and isopropyl alcohol. So there's tons of this kind of stuff around now because of the COVID. Lots of hand sanitizers. This is just uh, yeah, an antibacterial isopropyl alcohol. That's all that's in it. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna wet a corner, fold it up, and rub. There's no secret to it. It's elbow grease to get this stuff off, but uh, it does quite well. So, I mean, if you put, I've been putting a, going over it, put a layer on, let that soak a minute, and then just start working at it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's coming off pretty good, but it's gonna take a while, because there's a lot of interior here, so you get your uh, rag, your microfiber pretty balled up. So keep flipping it, because otherwise you're just gonna smear it around. You can see it there, just coming right off. It'll leave that uh, kind of a hard plastic finish. You got options in what you wanna do. You can, I've seen guys plasti dip it, but that stuff comes off as well. Or you can just, so I've seen guys with these pieces in particular, piece of Alcantara or automotive felt or leather and just glue it on. But uh, we've got a bit to do here. we got these panels. We've got some of the lower trim, entire center console, but we'll take that out and do that, I think. You can see it there, just, just sticky and looks gross. And the other side, but it uh, could be worse. Could have like a Volkswagen Touareg, which has got tons of plastic in it, and be doing that. Nick minute. There we go. Didn't take long at all. The, uh, just get a few little bits off here. You can still see some of the residue that's in the, kind of the grain of the plastic. But um, that's it. In the amount of time it took for the kids inside to make a smoothie, I cleaned that panel off. So I'm gonna do the other one now and uh, at least have it matching. Now I'm thinking I might, I might take them off and paint them black to match the car. I don't know, it's actually probably not too bad as it is for the amount of work that's involved. That uh, looks pretty, pretty good. Um, tell us what you think in the comments. Should I paint the uh, little door pockets and center console? Should I wrap them? I don't know. I got the silver trim on the on there. I could paint, I don't know if I'd paint it silver, but paint it black and maybe the side pieces silver seen that in a few 911s so i'm just on the other door now and something kind of i noticed here a bit of a tip so just when you start it off it seems like it doesn't do anything it just kind of gets wet but keep loading up your cloth and keep going over it and then very quickly i guess the uh, alcohol does its thing and breaks it down and then it almost comes off like like the like the glue of a sticker or something like that with little just fine bits so like this is just it hasn't done you know done much and then suddenly it all goes and then look at the cloth so keep turning it over run the inside and you can see it just coming off so quick and easy now but at first it kind of sits and it doesn't do anything and then all of a sudden it just yeah so you can see it just coming off so thick there so that's half done yeah it's going pretty quickly so uh, I, I spent more time probably looking at this and different videos and stuff and there's a few different products that people use and to be honest get the alcohol some old microfibers that still have some depth to them some uh, some thickness to them and uh, just go at it so you can see it's just now it's, it's getting a little bit drier so I haven't put any alcohol on it for a minute or two and you can see it's just rubbing it off almost like old glue when you rub it off with your thumb if your pockets are 
hope your hinges are broken, keep a hand on them. Um, if you really want, you can take them off the door, but it's not that hard, not that hard to do. All right, we'll update when we have this done and then we'll see what else we can get done today. So it's taken about 10 minutes, if that. And we've got all the gross rubber stuff removed, peeling rubber, sticky rubber. And I've got all that gross, sticky, peeling rubber off of the door pockets from our Porsche. Now, a few more pieces to tackle, but uh, yeah, very fast. I uh, Way faster than I thought it'd be. That's that's the microfiber after doing both sides, so it just peels off, and obviously this is done. So just use a cheap one or an old one if you got them. Um, yeah, you just go over it, and if, sometimes you see a few little bits, but for the most part, that really does the job well. So that's nice and clean, and we'll continue on and see if we can do some other interior bits. But if you need to strip your plastic off, I mean, like Volkswagen, older Volkswagens particularly, it's just... Uh, it's just isopropyl alcohol, that's it. So uh, that's what you wanna get and rub it down. It doesn't take long at all and what a difference. A little before and after of the switch section. So here's your before, all scratched up. Scratch with your fingernails, lots of marks in it. And then you can see from this switch forward, I've got it done. It's just nice, clean, shiny plastic really uh, makes a big difference on the look of the interior just brings it right up takes away all those marks and scratches